This game is basically what I'd imagine Hogwarts would offer for muggles who wanted to experience making potions. You're a young alchemist looking to make a name for himself in a new town, and you've just set up a small shop where your late predecessor once lived. You have access to a three-story home complete with a little magic garden from which you can collect some of your own ingredients every day. The game starts out with a nice tutorial for the four screens that depict each area of your home as well as a typical routine you generally should follow each day. You go from your bedroom, to the garden to collect whatever magically grew overnight, and then to spend the workday interacting with your customers. Initially, you have to go to the back room to make the potions by hand by combining different ingredients and adjusting the path that they create around the potion map. This potion map serves as a core mechanic by which you explore and ultimately create different potions. Over time, you'll obtain sheets of paper to record the actions you use to create the potions in order to abstract away the process, thereby automating the creation of your bread and butter potions while you strive towards exploring and discovering new potions around the map. As you do this, you'll pick up the experience points that are dotted around the area. When you level up, you gain a skill point that you can use or save in order to progress down four different skill trees. Map exploration, experience gains, trading, and haggling. The further down the tree you go, the more effective your exploration or experience gain or ability to get a great price from your transactions become. Progression is also pushed along by your ability to satisfy your customers' requests as they grow in complexity. In Early Access, there are currently 10 chapters in your quest to become a Master Alchemist, which presumably will enable you to become rich and famous, as well as push towards creating a Philosopher's Stone. To do this, you have time to continue tinkering after you've served all your customers, provided that you have enough ingredients. This is what the basement is for, as it initially is very limited. As you progress, you'll be able to upgrade by purchasing more alchemy components. Currently, there's no way to upgrade your setup in the back room, though I'm sure future editions and the fuller version will include these features. Once you're satisfied that you've done all you can for the day, you can head up back to your bedroom to end the day, and the cycle repeats itself. By the way, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider dropping a like for this video so that I'll know to make more of these reviews. So I really enjoyed playing the first 14 or 15 hours of this game because it had a laid back atmosphere and crafting mechanics were pretty straightforward with a variety of ways to create potions. I was also drawn into the beginnings of backstories and relationships for each vendor. There are a couple of things I'd like to see more of in the future. Difficulty levels and more complex potions and rewards such as research, resource scarcity, or personnel behavior. Another thing I'd like to see more of is the customizability of alchemical instruments, augmentations, modifications, etc, that sort of thing. One of the things that I think has a lot more potential in this game is fleshing out the characters a bit more in their personality, as well as deeper storyline. Also, I think it'd be really great to have more variety in the musical soundtrack as well as more sound effects throughout the gameplay. All in all, I enjoyed my exploration of this game, and for those of you who want to satisfy your wish to mix it up with herbs, shrooms, and magic rocks, this is definitely worth checking out. As this game is currently still in beta release as of the time of this recording, it's still got some kinks to work out, and a number of features that are offered are limited in terms of the game mechanics as well as some of the progression. However, I am definitely looking forward to playing the full version of this game when it does come out, and it's slated to be released in the late fall of 2022. If you want to check out this game for yourself and see if it's your cup of tea, check out the link in the description below. Hopefully I'll be covering more on this game as things develop. This is Fat Beats, signing out.